Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to kick off the radiation topic by looking at the atom. So let's get started. Before we go on to look at types of nuclear radiation, it's a good idea to get to grips with the atom and the structure of the atom to begin with. So it says here that the atom is made up of electrons, protons and neutrons. And you've probably seen this before. So the electrons are negatively charged, the protons are positively charged, and the neutrons are neutral. And the way I like to remember that is just from the P in protons matches up with the P in positively, and for neutrons, the N there matches up with the N in neutral. So you've got an N, N, and a P, P, and then the odd one out is going to be the electrons with negatively charged. So here's a picture of the structure of the atom. So you should know that you've got the nucleus in the centre of the atom containing both protons and neutrons, and then you've got electrons around the outside of the nucleus. And the electrons are going to travel in particular paths, depending on their energy, called orbitals. Moving on, it says here that the atom is overall neutral, since it always has the same number of protons and electrons. So the atom is said to be neutral if the number of protons in the nucleus matches the number of electrons outside of the nucleus. It then says here that in most elements, the protons and neutrons are bound together to form a stable nucleus. In some elements, however, the arrangement of the protons and neutrons is not stable, and this is what leads to the emission of nuclear radiation. So how does this work? Well, it says that these unstable nuclei may emit nuclear radiation in the form of an alpha particle, a beta particle, or a gamma ray in an attempt to become more stable. This is known as radioactive decay. So nuclear radiation is emitted as a result of this thing called radioactive decay. And we're going to see later on that alpha particles, beta particles and gamma rays are our three main types of nuclear radiation. So in a sense, this statement here is explaining to us why we get radiation in the first place. So all it is is to do with unstable nuclei wanting to become more stable, so they emit radiation to do so. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.